So now in this video, I thought we would take a look at a new uh, pocket oscilloscope. As you can see, this is pretty small here, and it's uh, pretty pretty portable. You just plug the cable in there, and the other end of the cable, we have a couple of alligator clips. So I have this set to measure DC right there, so we have that switch there. And then, other than what you see on the display here, the only other switch here is the on and off power switch right there. And so we have an adjustable knob here, so there is uh, the time that's uh, going by. So if we want to look at this faster, well, to look at it slower, we'll turn it to the left. So that's a little odd. You turn this to the left, or counterclockwise, to go higher in value. And then, and then clockwise when you want to get lower in value. But it's making it go faster. And uh, there you can see we have uh, rapid square uh, waves right there. So let's go back. I think this is a, a good time to look at. So now we will go to the voltage divisions. So each square is 2 volts. So it looks like we're going from about 2 volts to 5 volts back and forth. Well, this uh, fast flashing LED is going. We have a protective resistor from the positive rail coming to the LED which automatically flashes and it's changing its uh, current and voltage needs as it needs to to light up so let's change that let's go to one so I bet that's to the right to lower it yep to the right and so that's a lower voltage but after a little while we'll see that the waveforms are going up higher so they're trying to go up to uh, five dots but it only goes from the center point up four dots so we're losing some of it and uh, so let's go lower it down let's put it to 5 volts so it'll be 5 volts per square and you'll see that uh, we'll go from about halfway to the top pretty much the top of one square right there so we're, we're probably getting like 4 volts and, and something and so this is pretty pretty easy to use and I don't do a lot with the oscilloscopes we have a lot of uh, numbers on there. You learn what they mean and uh, you can interpret them. I don't know if I can get rid of that writing up there. I would like to, but uh, this is a new component for me and it's pretty straightforward. So the triggering, I haven't, I don't know if it's because this is just constantly going or whatnot. I don't really see a need for that because it's continuously feeding. We can hit the OK to hold what we have. So if there's an interesting waveform that shows up, we can stop it there and so trigger we can change that and uh, I don't know there we go I guess I had to press the button so this is also a button you turn so in any case this is uh, pretty straightforward I think this is probably the easiest way to start off using an oscilloscope I also have my multimeter one which is uh, pretty easy and uh, so in any case just thought I would show that hopefully I can come up with some vi better videos this is a new component for me I don't use oscilloscopes a lot but as you can see you can see the waveform uh, pretty easily and so that tells you a lot about what is going on at a particular circuit voltage wise 